Theodore Crawford Ted Cassidy was an American actor who performed in numerous television shows and films. Noted for his tall stature at 6 feet 9 inches, he tended to play unusual characters in offbeat or science fiction series such as Star Trek and I Dream of Genie. He is perhaps best known for the role of Lurch on The Addams Family. Early life and career, Cassidy was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but raised in Philippi, West Virginia. In his youth, Cassidy was an academically gifted individual, having begun high school at an early age. At high school, Cassidy was on the basketball and football team. Despite this, he was a frequent target of bullying by his much older peers. After graduating from high school, Cassidy moved to attend West Virginia Wesleyan College, where he was a member of the Alpha Sigma Phi fraternity. He later attended Stetson University. At Stetson, Cassidy was active in the student government and played basketball for the Hatters, averaging 17 points and 10 rebounds in his three seasons as a player. In 1952, Cassidy became a member of the Ormond Beach, Florida Life Saving Corps and worked as a lifeguard in the Ormond Daytona Beach area. After graduating with a degree in speech and drama, he married Margaret Helen in 1956, and they moved to Dallas, Texas. His acting career took off when he worked as a midday disc jockey on WFAAAM in Dallas. He also occasionally appeared on WFAA TV Channel 8, playing Creech, an outer space creature on the Dialing for Dollars segments on Ed Hogan's afternoon movies. Incidentally, he gave an in-studio report from WFAA radio station on the day John F. Kennedy was assassinated, and was among the first to interview eyewitnesses W.E. Newman, J.R. and Gail Newman. An accomplished musician, Cassidy moonlighted at Luby's Cafeteria in the Lotchwood, Dallas, Texas Shopping Center in Dallas, playing the organ to entertain patrons. In 1957, Margaret gave birth to their son, Sean. In 1960, daughter Cameron was born. Television Cassidy's unusual height gave him an advantage in auditioning for unusual character roles, such as Lurch on The Addams Family. He also played the character named Thing. Though the character was intended to be mute, Cassidy ad-libbed his signature line, You rang? The subtle humor and the deepness of his voice was immediately a hit. Thereafter, it was a recurring phrase written into the script. Cassidy would reprise the role of Lurch in later appearances. In the Batman episode The Penguin's Nest, he appears during Batman and Robin's familiar climb scene up the side of a building, as a tenant who is playing the harpsichord prior to sticking his head out the window and speaking to Batman and Robin. He also voiced this character in an episode of the new Scooby-Doo movies, which featured the family, as well as in the 1973 animated series adaptation of The Addams Family. In addition to The Addams Family, Cassidy found steady work in a variety of other television shows. He had a regular role on NBC's The New Adventures of Huckleberry Finn as Injun Joe, the blood foe of Tom Sawyer and Huck. In the 1967 The Man from UNC Ali episode, The Napoleon's Tomb Affair, Cassidy played a henchman, Edgar, who kidnaps, tortures, and repeatedly tries to kill Napoleon and Ilya. Cassidy also provided the voice of the more aggressive version of Balok in the Star Trek episode The Corbomite Maneuver, the role of the android Rock in the episode, What Are Little Girls Made Of? And he voiced the Gorn in the episode Arena. Cassidy did more work with Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry in the early 1970s, playing Isia in the post-apocalyptic drama pilots Genesis 2 and Planet Earth. In the Lost in Space episode, The Thief from Outer Space. He played the slave to the alien thief, who threatens the Robinsons. Cassidy appeared on Daniel Boone in the 1968 episode The Scrimshaw Ivory Chart as a pirate named Gentle Sam. He also appeared in several episodes of I Dream of Genie in 1968. He appeared as the master of Genie's devious sister in the episode Genie, Genie, Who's Got the Genie? and Genie's cousin in the episode Please Don't Feed the Astronauts. In the Beverly Hillbillies episode The Dahlia Feud from 1967, he played Mr. Ted, a large, muscular gardener who was planting dahlias for Mrs. Drisdale. In the two-part The Six Million Dollar Man episode The Return of Bigfoot, Cassidy appeared as Bigfoot. 
he even provided the vocal effects for Bigfoot. He reprised the role in the episode Bigfoot B. Voice acting and film work, concurrent with his appearances on The Addams Family, Cassidy began doing character voices on a recurring basis for the Hanna-Barbera Studios, culminating in the role of Frankenstein, J.R. in Frankenstein, J.R. and the Impossible series. He was the voice of the hero in the Chuck Menville pixelated short film Blaze Glory, in which his already deep voice was enhanced with reverb echo to give the character an exaggerated superhero sound. Cassidy also voiced Ben Grimm in the new Fantastic Four. Cassidy went on to perform the roars and growls for Godzilla in the 1979 cartoon series that Anna Barbara co-produced with Toho, and was also the voice of Montaro in the Yana of the Jungle segments that accompanied Godzilla during its first network run. His was the basis for the sinister voice of Black Manta, as well as Brainiac and several others on Super Friends. After the Adams family, Cassidy began to add more voice work to his raw copyright Suma copyright. In that acting field, most notably, he narrated the opening of the TV series The Incredible Hulk. Cassidy also provided the Hulk's growls and roars during the show's first two seasons. In deleted scenes from the original Battlestar Galactica TV pilot movie, Saga of a Star World, Cassidy can be heard providing temporary voice tracks of the silent Imperious leader, before actor Patrick McNay was contracted to voice the character. Other film work included his appearances in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, McKenna's Gold, Go in Coconuts, the last remake of Bo Jest, Poor Pretty Eddie, Harry and Walter Go to New York, The Slams, The Limit and Charcoal Black. He also co-wrote the screenplay of 1973's The Harrod Experiment, in which he made a brief appearance. In 1965, he released a seven-inch vinyl record on Capitol Records with two songs on it. The Lurch, written by Gary S. Paxton, and Wesley, written by Cliffy Stone and Scott Turner. He introduced the dance and performed the song The Lurch on September 11, 1965 on Shivery, and performed it again on Halloween of the same year on Shindig, along with Boris Karloff performing Monster Mash. Death, Cassidy died at age 46 on January 16, 1979, following complications from an open-heart surgery. Fellow actor Sandra Martinez took care of him during his final years. Cassidy's remains were cremated, and later buried in the backyard of his Woodland Hills home. The exact location of his remains is unknown. References External links Ted Cassidy at the Internet Movie Database, Ted Cassidy at All Movie, Ted Cassidy at Find a Grave, Ted Cassidy at Memory Alpha.